Hi guys, uh, welcome to the day three of the three day lead generation challenge. I'm so excited and today we are going to talk about driving traffic, the most exciting part. And I'll be focusing only on LinkedIn uh, since uh, I will, we are focusing mostly on B2B businesses, right? Uh, charity leads for B2B businesses, coaches, consultants and all. Yeah, so we'll be focusing only on LinkedIn and uh, I'll be sharing you some very easy to follow practical steps to drive traffic okay uh, many of the many of you might be aware of most of the things which i tell here which i share here but i want you to actually implement and do it it's the problem doesn't lie in not knowing i know many of you have uh, many of you know these things but it is about implementing these small small things and making it happen okay uh okay so in these two days last two days we have discussed about um, the system like now we have a uh, practical small funnel kind of system which we can actually use to generate leads let me show you if you have followed last two days you might have a, a system similar to this you will have a lead magnet which you have embedded in a skill space which we have discussed while while we discussed uh, designing landing pages so you you will have a skills page or say landing page with a lead magnet of your choice and then from the lead magnet you collect data and the data goes to the email list which will then convert it itself and then then to using emails or like uh, we had uh, I have, I have showed you in the last last day about incentive emails right so you can send a uh, email with the with your calendar link to schedule a call with you or you can also directly uh, send people to calendly after the after the sign up here but i would prefer you uh, connect with them on email first and then send the calendar link okay like don't give them surprises okay you have like uh, don't sound it like okay you have downloaded my free ebook or whatever it is now go and schedule a call with me that sounds a bit weird especially when it comes to cold audience. So what I would suggest you is send them an email and then send them a follow-up email with a calendar link or something like that. Like warm up the year little bit. Take some of our advice. Okay. Uh, don't subscribe me your cold leads with a calendar link. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Okay, now, now we have a simple system. Now what we need to do is we need a lot of traffic on on this news page, on this lead magnet, and we need more and more people downloading the lead magnet and giving them, giving us their data. And we have to show them the email list and probably get on a uh, discovery call or a sales call. Yeah, we call it sales call. We tell them it's a discovery call or a strategy call. Okay, so that was the whole idea. So let's see how we will get people to sign up or by people to download this lead magnet or people to access this lead magnet from LinkedIn. What are the sources? What is the possible solution? Okay. Uh, yeah. So uh, these are the basic things you might be knowing, like the, like you can share content on your profile. You can share content on a business page, which you might have created if you are a business or if you have a business name or something, you might be already having a business page. So you can create your content on, you can get traffic from your business page and then niche groups. So these groups can be um, created by somebody else or you can create your own groups. So this can be that. And then you can use comments to drive traffic. I'll explain all this. So I'm just going through it. And then you can uh, send connection requests with a note where you can ask people and then on messages, then, then on collapse. Let me explain you one by one. So let's come back to profile. So LinkedIn is a very easy to use uh, platform for organic marketers. The organic uh, reach is crazy high in LinkedIn. It will be it was this it, uh, the situation was same on every every platforms i would say so what happens is like initially when initially when they are getting the traction there won't be much creators on this platform and on those times like the reach organic reach will be crazy high like facebook in 2010 or 12 or something like that 
So in those times, there will be very less creators and the creators get this advantage of organic reach. And when everybody is on that platform and when everybody starts creating content on that platform, then organic reach will gradually slow down and it will reduce, it will reduce drastically over a bit of time. But now is the time where LinkedIn has got a very decent organic reach when compared to Instagram or Facebook or any other social media like I have explored. Okay, so, uh, and when compared to business pages on, on LinkedIn, uh, LinkedIn have experienced more organic reach on personal profiles. So I would strongly recommend you to create at least one post and share it on your profile every day, at least one post. Okay, and uh, yeah, when, when, when you're saying uh, share a post, what I've seen is what people do wrong or what people, where people go wrong is they share content just for the sake of sharing content. Don't do that. Don't, don't share content just for, just for the sake of sharing one content every day, but create content which talks about the pain or desire of your uh, audience. So like I said in the course, you, you create a buyer persona. If you haven't created a buyer persona yet, refer this buyer persona whenever you are creating a content. Okay, And then based on this buyer persona, it talk about their problems. Like if, say if you are creating a weekly calendar, one or two posts about the pain and desires of your target audience. One or two content about proving your authority and your knowledge in the topic. And then a little bit of your personal stories or your uh, your motivation stories or your client results. You can you can share all these kind of stories, but don't don't post some random random content just for the sake of creating content. That's what I have to say. And when you are writing, uh, when you are creating content for LinkedIn, I what I have noticed is long form content performs pretty well uh, than compared to short form uh, content. And uh, what I would suggest you is to follow the uh, hook, uh, like the hook story traffic. So first you give them a hook. Uh, you give them a hook. Hook. Start the start the content with a hook. Like you can you can start with a question or you can uh, ask a bold statement. You can make a bold statement about anything or you can. You can start with something controversial to improve the engagement. Just the first line, just to get, just to be the hook. Or if you are using an image, an image in the post, so you can you can also uh, try some uh, some something like something which hook the people there. And then you tell your story. And on on the uh, last line or last paragraph, you can uh, share your action like call to action button. Or uh, what I would suggest you is don't don't share a uh, external link directly on your post. You can share in your comments. Uh, because what happens is like when like LinkedIn, like every other social social networks, they doesn't like external links so much on their post. So because what happens is like um, when people are clicking on that particular link, you are taking their audience out of LinkedIn. So LinkedIn doesn't like it. No, no social networks like it because their revenue is the time spent by the user on the platform, right? So, so they don't like people going out of LinkedIn. So don't, uh, there's a chance that I've observed also, there's a, there's a higher chance that your post might not get expected reach, expected organic reach when you, uh, when you include an external link directly in the post. So you read the comment or ask them to message you or something like that. Yeah, and how often we are, Post at least one post every day, something like that. You can post post as much as you can, but at least one a day, one or two a day is good good enough. Uh, and business pages, like I said, business pages you keep it like your Facebook profile page, like like I said, no, like optimize it, post it regularly, post post images and post decent content there, uh, but don't expect so much. Uh, reach especially when you are starting out uh, for reach and for traffic always 
preferred profile profile and groups groups works also but don't rely on business pages so much for uh, traffic i would suggest you have a uh, business page it increases the credibility of your business it, it gives you so much attention and all but you don't expect so much reach from business pages uh, and niche groups niche groups uh, are groups specific very specific to your audience like there are many specific groups like if you are a real estate marketer you can search for marketers real estate marketing or something like that uh that is very simple here you, you search your real estate marketing you click on search and then you search for groups see then there are so many groups with seven point three k numbers there are so many so many groups so you search for marketing you can see millions of followers in each group you are searching for marketing little bit, say 1.9 million members, 1.1 million members. So, um, find very niche groups. Don't go for these general groups, but find and follow, join in some niche groups. And whenever you are creating a content on your uh, profile or on your page, share it on this niche groups also, because it will help you get a higher reach and it will help you uh, identify people like get people who are seeking for a uh, solution like you know like those kind of things like if if you are looking for if you are if you are looking if your clients are like real estate marketers if you are providing some market uh, if you are providing some services for marketers in the real estate niche if you search for you will join in real estate marketing groups and then you will find plenty of real estate marketers there and then you can uh connect with them through sharing your post and do, do a lot of stuff and always remember whenever you are posting a content make a make an excuse make an excuse to share your lead magnet in the comment so end it with a with a call to action and make an excuse to make it your uh lead magnet yeah and then you can use comments so these three are like profile, business page, and niche groups are the like uh, officially approved places where you can share content. But comments are a very attractive option to to get a decent traffic. So what you do is you uh, connect with your competitors. This is how you steal your uh, competitors audience. So what happens is like you find influencers, like we said in the first exercise. You make a list of influencers and competitors in your niche, follow them, and then when they are posting something, make a relevant comment. Don't be uh, like, don't let that comment be so general or okay, congrats, thank you, or something like that. Make it at least two sentences and post a very relevant uh, comment and ask for opinion. Ask for opinion from the order or the or other readers. So ask for opinions and that can be a very uh, decent place to steal your uh, competitors for you, your competitors or influencers for you. And then another reason, then another place where you can get uh, new traffic, new users is connection with this note. So when you are sending somebody a request, you might have noticed the option to, okay. Option to add a note. Okay. okay. Use that option when you are sending any connection request. So I'm sending this by a connection request. And I send it connect, then there is an option to add a note. So here I write a message. Something like, okay, if you have a lead magnet, say you have, so this guy is a digital marketer. So I assume I have a lead magnet uh, saying how to get, how to find uh, jobs, how to how to find jobs in top companies as a digital marketer. So that if that is my lead magnet, while sending a note, uh, I can I can send a message saying, uh, hi, I have a, I have a book, 
uh, have written a book about this on this topic. Uh, I thought your profile matches matches the offer, and I would really be happy if you can uh, go through the book and review review it. Or I would be really I really think it will be helpful for you, and I would like to like you to have a look and give me feedback. Be polite, don't be so pushy when you are sending your first message. But this works. This is, this is the place where you can create a genuine connection. And since you are not asking anything for it, and like you, you are not asking the money or anything, you are not selling directly anything. Uh, I, I really think that is a really polite way to ask. So people won't find it so fancy because you are not you are not selling on 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 the friend side, okay? And that is another place where you can where you can find uh, traffic, and then through messages like most of you do. But when you are messaging, don't don't send your offer to a call lead. But since it is a uh, since it is a free lead, lead generation thing, like since it is a free ebook or something. After two three conversation, you can I I would suggest you. Uh, pitch them directly like I have a free book or I have a free webinar. Would you like to have a, like I really think you you will be uh, benefited from this and I would really be happy if you can go through it and give me some feedback. And ask for their feedback. I always ask for feedback. I I consider feedback as an excuse to ask. Okay, that is something you can do. And then of course collaborations like. Any other platforms collaboration works pretty decent on LinkedIn, but make sure don't don't go blindly behind people with a lot of followers like Instagram or something because in the past what I have noticed since I have I've collaborated with people with a lot of followers also I have collaborated with people with less followers but uh, good content also so what I have observed is if you are collaborating with a person who is posting very generic content uh, and getting a lot of followers and likes and stuff and if you, if you're collaborating with this kind of influencer then you might end up with a lot of likes and comments but no sales instead if you are if you are really if you are if you're really collaborating with somebody with not so much likes and followers or any anything metrics but they are talking the real stuff and their their connections are genuine then even if you get like 20 30 likes you will definitely get at least 10 to 15 sales so that is what i have experienced i haven't collaborated with any for uh, selling my uh, any for a uh, new generation but i have tried collaborating for selling my stuff directly and it works better when the guy is more measure that like and he is more focused into his niche not it didn't work pretty well when I go with the general generic guys like those who post a lot of motivation and stuff and get likes and comments. It didn't work pretty well with these guys, but uh, try to find out people who talk the real real stuff and uh, build real collections, not not random narratives. Okay, that's it, guys. That's it. Uh, that's all what you can do with LinkedIn free version. Uh, another day, what I'll do is I'll, I'll create maybe in, in a couple of weeks, uh, I'll create a training on a LinkedIn sales navigator. I am not including sales navigator in this, in this, in this challenge since we took a paid tool and I'm a promise you. Uh, we are not going to use any paid tools or ads on this challenge. So I really want you to uh, go through this, act toward it, walk towards it, and give me feedback either on LinkedIn or in the Lifestyle Club. You can reach out to me. If you have any any, any doubts or any questions regarding this challenge or regarding any content on this challenge, you can reach out to me by email, LinkedIn, or or, uh, or on the forums in the Lifestyle Club. I'll, I'll revert back to you. Okay, guys. Bye. Have a I agree with